A stunning round of 65 with three closing bodies saw England's Robert Dinwiddie capture his third challenge to a title at the Kenya Open. The 27-year-old finished on 12 under par, three shots clear of runner-up Julio Zapata of Argentina. The victory moves him to the top of the Challenge Tour rankings and puts him in prime position to return to the European Tour. Thank you to everyone else for all your support as well. Um, it was great, um, on, uh, especially on the last hole when I didn't know what the scores were. and I asked a few guys, you know what the situation is? And um, a couple of you managed to tell me, so that helped a lot. So. Zapata did his best to keep abreast with a round of 67, but ultimately had to settle for second place, one stroke clear of overnight leader Oliver Fisher of England. A level par 71 meant third place Fisher finished the day on eight under par, one shot clear of his compatriot Andrew Marshall, who closed with a round of 69. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Kenya's only hope, Ali Kimani, played a better round than he did yesterday, but finished with a one over par 72. With large crowds following him, the golfer did well but bogeyed the second hole before getting a body on hole four. Uh, it's been a good experience for me because I've never, I've never got to, to this far. The last time I made cut was uh, 2008, that was in Karen. And uh, I realized this course is not what we normally think about, maybe because of uh, the changes of the tournament conditions. But uh, it's been a good experience for me. Kenya Golf Union Patreon President Mwai Kibaki attended the afternoon session and was full of praise for the tournament. Having witnessed the finals this afternoon, I note with appreciation the great strides that the game has made in Kenya. These achievements have been possible because of the efforts of the Kenya Golf Union the Kenya Open Golf Limited, the corporate sponsors, and the general golfing fraternity who have supported the game. Kenya's premier golf event lived up to its billing as it delivered top-class golfing. Maureen Mwende, Citizen Sports.